Hello, friends, and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duo video. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we reached the final stage of FG Clash, the last boss, and this time I'm gonna remind you just with the videos that I've done before. For this boss, Loki is he is just annoying because of the three fun functionality and everything else. We did back then with with every update, with every boss that comes, I make a video telling you how about to use Zangief for preventing passives from the bosses. And a year ago we did that with Zangief and it's still the meta because we have no other unit that can negate pa passives from bosses. With his 6 out of 6 cars you need to build that up to go and deal that much of damage. Now of course for your effigy boss or statue, what do you need to upgrade? You upgrade uh, the Halidom E at the start so you can deal damage to the bosses, but by the end of the bossing and when you finish from the bosses and one of your guildies reach the top 10, that's what you want. One guildmate reach the top 10, when you secure that and you know that there's 100%, they will not drop from the top 10. No need for anybody to compete in the guild boss. And if you max his levels, no need to go for 10 tries, only 5 tries. And now you need to focus on Halidom P and Halidom S. Why is that? Halidom S and Halidom P are so important because it's PvP and it helps you deal more damage. So the PvP, uh, the one for the PvP is Halidom P. So now you can increase the damages versus other teams defending the, the effigy that they have. And with the Halidom S when you upgrade it, you go and defeat the uh, effigy boss for them when you attack it. And this is how you get your ranks and defeat other guilds. Now for Loki. And as I said before, if you want to use uh, a team with fire aid on, it's the best one to use with Zenkiv. Now, as uh, we know, Zenkiv is really great. I'm ranking at 7, it doesn't even matter. My guildmate is ranking at 2. And believe it or not, big shout out to this absolute legend. You can call him free to play, you can call him low spender. He is a free to play. He spent only $1 to buy the pack for Chun Leaf, so he is free to play. You can say he's 100% free to play. This legend, absolutely a monster. He's trying everything and he's doing the meta teams. He's going for the meta teams. He went and got Honda, Rich Honda, to the uh, maximum tier, which is absolutely insane. And he did uh, Visconti Vega, or he's working on Visconti Vega. Absolutely a monster with his lineup. He did Eva Ryu when he got released, which is helping him a lot. Now, I will show you also my lineups, which is also completely free to play, just like him. And I took this team, the second team, from him, the idea from him, and used it. Now, I'm using something different. I'm using on my uh, Akuma, I'm using uh, T-Hawk. What is he using? Does it show? Oh, he's using T-Hawk, so completely the same, but I'm not using Kami. Now, Kami, if you're watching this, Islam Santos, you're a genius, everything is okay, but here, for this team, I will show you one try, I will buy one try to show you my teams. So, on my second lineup, I'm using Honda, or any type of any units, because if we use Kami, let's say Kami is the same, you're gonna lose 5% attack bonus, so you have 20% here and 20% here, but with adding another faction, you will contribute to get 25%, so you will increase your damages even more. So do that, my legend, do that, my friend, okay? So use E Honda or use anybody else if you have them maxed, maybe you have Gen maxed out, so his Shadow Clone will help you out with more damages because he's absolutely insane and he's another light unit that works with every faction. So if we use Gen, as you see here, Gen also works, you can put him on anybody else. It's whatever you want, but this is uh, the base score that I was talking about. Now, the first team that we're using, of course, Zengiv. Why Zengiv? Zengiv mitigates a little bit of damage, plus kills the passive of Loki. Loki, whenever you hit him, you accumulate stacks of cold on yourself or frost. When you get 10, you're gonna get frozen in an ice cube. And this is what we don't want. So depending on your team and your timing, whenever you start it, you need to use his C2 and 6 out of 6 cards. Which means you need to build Zengiv up and use his C2. His C2 will negate his passive, so you will hit him free. He will not freeze you. And with some RNG, when he blows his breath and freezes you, if you didn't get freeze, that's awesome. I'm using this uh, skill, which is the EX move of Summer Elena, because it dispels you. So when we are on uh, Ice Cube, we are uh, frozen in that uh, frozen moment and we can't continue our combo. We can just press it, heal everybody, plus dispel every debuff that's on us, which is the control effect, which is the freezing. Not the stacks, it will not remove the stacks because it's dispellable. It will remove the ice cube, which will make us unfrozen and we can continue our attacks. That's the only reason why I put it here. And you can use whatever the uh, uh, EX move that buffs you 
Breath of Rage will be awesome. We're using it on different lineup and you can use the Akuma EX, which is a uh, of thousand hits that will increase the attack damage for the highest unit, which is absolutely good. Now, the rotation is we use Kami and Vega EX as always because it will give you more rotation and it will accumulate the firewall beneath the boss. And when the effect goes away, the 90% reduction, he will take maximum damage from it. So we start with uh, a Fire Adon. C1 from Sweet Poison, C2 from Zangief, and then C3 from Fire Adon, and then we continue for the end of the fight with Rich Honda, Sweet Poison, Zangief, then Adon. And this is the end of the fight. I'm using Dalsim because with his assist he does the fire carpet and deals more damage, plus his attack is ridiculous on him. Like, it's 25,000 attack. If we check all of our units, who's built so much? Like him, he have 24, which Dalsim has 25, so the attack boost is absolutely insane. Now you can use whatever you want on him, Broken Formation helps you with the crit because the firewall underneath the boss also crits sometimes with RNG. With RNG we get high numbers. Whenever somebody tells you, oh, it's super RNG with him so you can deal more damage or less damage, it's absolutely fault. It's the RNG of the crit, whichever unit you're using. So using uh, this one will improve the crit rate on your units. This is why we crit more with him. Now, what I like to use actually on him, which is uh, the assault. The assault will give you uh, stable numbers because the assault, let's read what the assault does. It gives you bonus attack here. Plus, it will give you every 10th or every 8th attack if you upgrade it or more. It will give you, uh, if you drop below 50% for the first time, it will give you more attacks. But on the 8th attack, you will deal even more damage. Even the firewall will deal even more damage. So keep that in mind. That's absolutely a nice utility to use. You can do whatever you want. But this is the su some suggestions that I will give you. The second lineup, which I stole from my friend Islam Santos and I'm sharing with you. Because it does stable damage at 1 billion, 1.2 billion, 1.3 billion up to 1.5 billion one on one battle i didn't get frozen because i was so lucky with the dispel of summer elena which is amazing unit and t-hawk so i go with my super with him when i get frozen t-hawk after doing the super he goes in and dispel me so i can use the c1 of uh, uh dan dan is amazing here why dan is amazing i have him with six out of six cars plus 30 so he will buff my entire team with uh, resistance with damage defensively and offensively which is absolutely amazing and then I will accumulate damage. Uh, Chun-Li, just for the crits, whenever she does more crits, she will give you more combo meter so we can keep going on and on and increase our damage, which is absolutely a great lineup. So starting super with Akuma, C1 from Strongest Dan, C2 from Akuma, and then C3 from uh, Chun-Li, and Summer Elena will be dispelling healing and giving us the buff if you build her to plus 30, which we did, I guess. Yes, we did on our account, and him at plus 30 as well, which is absolutely nice. Now the third team, and this is depending on your luck and RNG. So my luck haven't been good for the last fight with this team, but on mainly on different uh, lineups, on different buffs, I'm hitting between 1.5 billion to 2 billion. And one time I did 3 billion with this lineup. How? So you put uh, Visconti Vega on the back line and plus give him whatever. You can give him whatever. I'm using these for more combo meter, Yan and Yang, because we know that they give combo meter and uh, Abel triggers his passive a lot. Now he's give us the shield and give us the healing. Now you can replace him with normal Abel and the healing can get from uh, uh, from her or you can do any other unit or combination that you want. But this lineup worked for me and I almost had hit the four, mil 4 billion damage with this lineup. So we start with Viper C1 from him, C2 from her and then C3 from him. Now sometimes somebody is frozen so she can use C2 and Super and C3. She can use C2, Super and C3. He can use C2, Super and C3. But him is the only one with a C1. So you, his main focus is to do deliver his C1. Your lineup is safe. You can utilitate it between whichever you want if they're not frozen. Mainly you want some one of them to hit the C2 perfectly. Sometimes Viper has 10 stacks and you start the battle. You can't ultimate with her. So you will use the Super of Rose. The C2 of her, she gets frozen. He does his C3. By the time she's unfrozen, you can use her Super. So keep that in mind. It's the rotation, however you want to go. Now I will not show you my lineup in me, uh, all of it with the replay i will show you islam santos lineup because it's the best free to play lineup right now and i explained my other uh, lineup he's using a different lineup with Eva ryu viper and uh of course suit able and he's using rose as well which is absolutely perfect so i will show you how he did his damages 
with the first lineup, which is absolutely insane. And he, what timing he used. My timings are different. I watched his entire battle, absolutely learning from him. Yes, who said Pika gives only guides? He learns guides from awesome people like this. Big shout out to him if you want to find him on the official Discord down in the description. So let's go and check his fight. So he waits until almost 44 seconds or 41 seconds and he starts his combo. Of course, Kami and Vega EX at the start of the battle because he want to accumulate uh, that combo, free combo meter to go with. And he waits for the boss because he will hit him with the spear, it will hinder him. And depending on your luck, you might get hindered and you might not get hindered, which is a major component. And as you see, when you accumulate 10 stacks of combo of uh, cold on you, you get frozen. At 43 uh, seconds, he used... Uh, 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 Adon, then Street Poison, then Zangief, then Adon. So he waited for his Adon to get unstuck from the Frozen, so he used his C2, and then back to back, back to back, he did all the damages, starting with uh, Rich Honda, Street Poison, Zangief, then Fire Adon. Absolutely fantastic rotation, and here it requires a lot of RNG. You see the blow that he blew? He does it two times back to back. He blows a uh, cold wave on you and it's up to you and your RNG to not get frozen here. And now he throws the spear, absolutely deals no damage to you because his passive is negated. So nobody will get hurt and you continue and deal damage. Absolutely phenomenal, he did 8.8 .8 billion damage. Absolutely nice, fantastic. Of course, this is the help with his Rich Honda because it's built. If you don't have Rich Honda built, how much did we do on our lineup? As a no built uh, Rich Honda, we did 5.9, 6 billion damage. So we can reach the 8 billion damage if we depend on crits and our crit crit more. I don't use the uh, crit, uh, uh, the Breath of Rage. He uses the Breath of Rage. So by default, it's better to use the Breath of Rage. So keep that in mind. Don't do my mistake, do his perfect lineup. Now, second lineup, which is similar to me. He did 1.12 and we did 1.277. So depending on the luck also and RNG of freezing or not got freeze, so my lineup did the most score, I will be showing you my lineup and here we go. Of course I wait until I have 3 combo meters and I continue and you'll see I'm getting frozen yet yeah, Akuma deals a lot of damage. He's a single target monster of uh, unit so he deals more damage. Now if you want to play something else, if you build Leonardo he does insane damage. If you build uh, Trendy Kami she deals also awesome amount of damage. So we start with Akuma and then uh, we got... Uh, Summer Elena down and we use Dan, then uh, uh, Chun-Li. As you see, everybody is getting frozen and stuck here. Akuma again, Dan, then Akuma, then Chun-Li. And we continue like this until we get frozen by somebody and we wait for uh, Summer Elena to unfreeze us. And now I use, I delayed a little bit to use the freeze of uh, Dan, but it didn't help. So I went in, I did it again when I had the combo meter. And then our uh, uh, Chun-Li gave us a little bit of combo meter. Of course, it's not the best run in the world. You need a little bit of RNG to not get stuck and frozen so you can deal more damage. Here I use the C2 of Chun-Li and I use the, uh, the Virgil EX move, which I didn't need actually because we're not in danger actually here because of the, all the debuffs that we have or all the buffs defensively that we have from Seiko Dan or, or the strongest Dan. Which is absolutely amazing. It's a very good and solid lineup. Uh, the Akuma did most of the damage. Chun-Li contributed a little bit. And uh, having young, uh, having Honda completed my 25% attack. Maybe this is the push that Islam needed to get a better lineup. Now this lineup, I told you it was uh, it's a miss or a hit actually if you mess it up. So every time I do something, I get frozen. My luck was bad. So let's check uh, the lineup. For Islam Santos he did a better run and you don't need even Ryu even that built now he did here 377 million if you have him at SS he will deal between 150 million to 200 million which is also awesome let's check his lineup hopefully he didn't get frozen that much and he's using the pizza the pizza make you just like Virgil EX you will not die immediately I'll be talking about it in the next video so he waits also let's check at what time he waits you see this breath the, the the boss did this can freeze you and not freeze you depending on your rng also this one it froze his viper it could freeze you or not so he started at 51 seconds with evil ryu so evil ryu uh able uh the c2 of rose then the c3 of uh viper and evil ryu again because he wants to decrease the combo meter of the enemy so he doesn't get frozen anymore C2 of Rose and no 3-3 because he wasn't lucky here. 
and again Viper, then Abel, then uh, Rose, then Viper, and he got frozen. You see, it's the RNG, it's the luck. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. It depends on your lineup and on your RNG. Viper, Abel, Rose, then Viper again, and uh, Evil Ryu did a little bit of damage. Hopefully, Evil Ryu, yeah, he drained his H, uh, his bar. His bar went to completely zero. He starts with Viper. Abel, Rose, and time was up, and this is the damages that he did. Absolutely fantastic. With better luck, you can deal even more and more, so keep that in mind. That was it for uh, our Loki, the most annoying boss here, which is you can do even better with that lineup. Now, I'm gonna give also a shout out to Gagon that built Leonardo. Let's see how Leonardo does in his lineup, of course. Yeah, he's using him, of course. So, with Vega completely built, he did 1.7 billion. Vega is absolutely a monster. With uh, we, He has also Trendy Ryu, which he is a really awesome unit. He did 2.8 billion, 2.1 or 2.2 almost with Leonardo because Leonardo is insane. And he used Michelangelo as an assist on him, of course. In the upcoming video, we'll be talking about Michelangelo. And on the first lineup, of course, nobody is using Flame Chun on these type of bosses that requires you to negate their passive so you can do better scores. He's using his uh, Zangief and he did 9.4 million because everything is maxed and he has the levels, which is absolutely awesome. Yeah, levels matter. I think 293 levels here. Islam has uh, 284. So levels different give you a buff, give you a boost in your attack and defense and crits blah 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 etc you know the drill and yeah that was it for the video if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you didn't we thank you for watching and as always stay frosty peace Time to fly. Time to fly.